Welcome back, dear watch fans, to a new episode of Biren Talks Watches, in which I'm going to talk about one of my favorite subjects of the last year, undervalued Patek Philippe complications pieces, which I believe have a huge potential for the future, and I personally have a huge affection for. So today we're going to talk about Patek Philippe complication pieces from the 80s, 90s and early 2000s which I believe still haven't reached their full potential and I believe should deserve way more attention. Not only because I have a huge affection for them myself but because they are historically important and have so much to offer in still a more friendly price range than their modern equivalents. And for this video, I'm wearing a non-complication Patek, which is an ellipse with an onyx dial, quite a rare and special watch, but it doesn't match up with the watches that lay in front of me, which are one of my biggest passions. And I want to start off with a quite famous reference, perhaps the most popular of all watches in laying in front of me, which is the 3940, which is a reference that was introduced in 1985 as the new line of perpetual calendars. It was a completely different watch to the 3448 and 3450, which are the predecessors of this piece, mainly in K-shaped movement and in dial design. Completely a different animal with the non-style Padalone casing anymore, 36 millimeter round case with short locks, and especially the dial, which has a completely different layout with the registers and moon function, which is really a new way forward for Patek. And this is also what the Stern family wanted. They wanted to increase a um, more popularity for the perpetual calendars, and also they went into higher production volumes with this beautiful reference. And it really set the tone for all uh, references which came after this watch, which you can see also in the watches laying in front of me. And it's still one of my personal favorite ever Pateks, especially this watch and the 3970, which is the chronograph version of this watch, are really my sweet spot in Patek collecting. And what really is so beautiful is about this reference is that it was produced in multiple metal variations. So this is a yellow gold variation, but was also produced in white gold, rose gold, and platinum, of course, being rarer than the yellow gold variations, and in different dials. You have the first generation dial, which is the rarest, then you have the second series in the early version, the later second series, and the third series. This is a later second series, which is really such a balanced and beautiful dial design with the opaline dial. There are beautiful variations also in color, and it's really, really a watch that possibly will be one of the most popular watches for a new generation of Patek collecting in the upcoming years. It really hits my sweet spot. I find it one of the most beautiful Pateks ever. And really, it's such a timeless, timeless, timeless presence, which should absolutely deserve more attention, like its brother, which is the watch which I have in front of me, which is the 5040, which is a reference that was introduced quite later in 1992, which is in essence the same watch as the 3940, but in a tonneau case shape. So this is a really, really different watch, also feeling-wise on the wrist. And what absolutely is different about this watch is that it was an option to feature Breguet numerals and Breguet hands, which is, was not an option on the 3940. This watch is also available with the um, Arabic numerals, but especially with the Breguet numerals, it's one of the most beautiful Pateks, in my opinion, especially this variation in white gold. Uh, which really has a sporty feeling almost because of the tonneau shaped case and the Breguet numerals and the, the really fresh dial in white gold. It just really, really hits different. I find this one of the most interesting watches and this is way more undervalued towards the 3940. Um, one of the nicest and most beautiful watches that Patek ever made and really, really an incredible watch, especially in this price range. It's really astonishing and a watch that has so much potential for the future. This is especially a watch that I've been wearing for the last weeks. It has grown so immensely on me. I still find it one of the best Pateks in the modern uh, variations and a watch that doesn't, uh, no, no modern variation matches this watch in my opinion. It's absolutely perfect. The dial is spotless. It's such a balanced design. And if you're searching for quite a special Patek also in shape, you might have to look at this watch. Both are, of course, perpetual calendars, um, in essence, featuring the same movement, but really, really a different presence. And if you're searching for Patek perpetuals, have a look at these two, because they are incredible, 
absolutely incredible. But after talking about quite special but thankfully perpetual calendars, we also need to have a look at a new complication which was introduced in the 1990s. Yes, this is a completely new complication. It hasn't been seen in a wristwatch before 1996, which was the annual calendar introduced by Patek with the reference 5035, which is quite special because many of the complications are way older than the 1990s, of course. But this was a new invention by Patek to make a bridge between the basic color Trava and the perpetual calendars, which was the annual calendar, which is a calendar which you need to set every year. And the 55 of the 5035 was the first reference to feature this function in quite a beautiful and sporty way. It was a completely different case and design towards the 3940, which is thicker, also a millimeter larger. It was also produced in the same material, so yellow gold, white gold, rose gold, and platinum with different dials, black dials, gray dials, also salmon dials. This is a yellow gold variation with the opaline dial, which is perhaps the most classy look. And in my opinion, it's one of the most undervalued Pateks in today's market. It's absolutely incredible to see that you can still buy this watch in mainly under the value of most color travas. It's really, really incredible to see and absolutely a watch that should deserve way more attention in the future because it's incredibly historically important. It was the first annual calendar wristwatch. It's a beautiful design. It feels sporty. It has a really 90s touch towards it and absolutely undervalued. A watch which, in my opinion, is one of the big ones for the future. And if you want to start collecting maybe a complication Patex, have a look at this reference because it offers so much for its value. So till this moment, we have only talked about uh, calendar watches from Patek, but of course there are way more complications that Patek made. And one of my personal favorite complications is the world time. Be mainly because of the looks of these watches, but also because of the feeling that the watch has. It was made for travelers who travel between different time zones, for businessmen, and the romanticness behind that. The world time was firstly produced in the 1930s and up about until the 1950s, and then discontinued for almost half a decade and reintroduced again in 2000 with the reference 5110, which is the reference which I have here, which is actually my personal watch which in my opinion is one of my favorite uh, world time references because it has a perfect case size and shape. It's 37 millimeters with a more round Calatrava style case. And what really, really took my breath away when I started to go deeper into the 5110 is the, the way that the watch is produced and the way that the watch looks. The attention to de detail, the refinement that this watch has, it's absolutely breathtaking. It has a Giorgio center dial, um, then the beautiful outer track with the cities and the font that they use to, to describe or to write the cities on that outer track is absolutely breathtaking. If you take a loop and take two or three minutes just looking at the dial, every second you will find a detail that just absolutely takes your breath away. It's such an astonishing watch. It was produced in different materials of course. It was in white gold, yellow gold, rose gold and platinum with the platinum being my favorite because it has a ice blue your center dial which is just mind-blowingly beautiful. This is a white gold variation, so it has the silver guillotte center dial. Of course, a beautiful micro rotor movement, and the level of quality on this watch is just astonishing. If you push the pusher to change the city, the click that it has just is insane. It's such a refined piece. It's always under the radar when you wear it, and still at an incredible price range. And if you're looking for world time, you should absolutely consider the 5110. A perfect watch especially in this lineup that I have in front of me. I have fallen absolutely in love with these watches. They are Patek per, uh, perfection in my opinion, if you look towards the neo-vintage modern era of Patek. And if you're searching for one, we always have them in stock. Check out our website. And if you want to talk watches with me, also seek out to us on WhatsApp or email and we'll talk about these beautiful pieces. If you're searching for them, let me know because this is my current love. Let's chat about them and if you have any questions, we will get in contact soon. Cheers for watching, hope you enjoyed this video and um, yeah, hope you agree with me. Enjoy these beautiful watches and we see you soon again in another video.